Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to your reading for November 2022. I hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you, Leo. It's a reading for Leo, sun rising and moon sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. That will be specific to you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, giving me a thumbs up. Really appreciate your support. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I'm posting new videos for you. My lovely Leo, I have been meditating on your energy and I want to say to you that in November, I feel like things are about to turn, things are about to change for the better. I feel like you are on this path of newness, this path of making quick decisions. There's a lot of decisions to be made. Who's moving? Who's moving? Someone's moving. Um, maybe a few of you are moving, uh, but there's like relocations. There's movement in your work environment. Uh, there is changes in your home environment, whether you're renovating, moving. Um, there is something new that's coming in that you are experiencing and I like that. So get ready because I feel like there's these wind, the wind of change is coming in for you, my lovely Leo. And I feel that the challenge for you is that you like to control, be in control of your environment, be in control of what's going on and the changes that are coming about, have them all be planned. But there's some element of it not being planned in November. There's some things that are going to happen that are going to be unexpected and you're just going to need to roll with it and make those decisions quickly about about what's coming up. It can be um, pack your bags, there's some sort of trip or holiday that you're being taken to or going on that comes up almost overnight. Can be tied in with work, can be uh, tied in with a relationship with your private life, with the friend saying, let's do this, let's go there. Be ready because there's things that are going to need snap decisions. And I feel like they're good. It's good because it shakes things. It's like that there's a shaking up of things around you. Uh, and that's a good thing. I feel like that is going to be an exciting thing, an exciting time. There are new developments that are coming up here for you in November. They're telling me here. New developments in uh, for some of you, it's something you've been working towards and wondering, oh, what am I going to hear? When's that going to fall into place? What's going on with that? Well, it's going to just happen very quickly. It's going to happen very, very quickly around you. I'm going to draw a card to see what your totem animal is. What ta what's your totem and the energy that's coming in around you? You've got two cards, so let's have a look at what they are. Very interesting. Wow, that looks quick too. Will, tiger. This is your will. This is the tiger energy. Um, the, the changes that are coming in are going to be from a higher source, from the divine, from the universe speaking to you. But it's a swiftness. Look at that. There's a swiftness here, a willingness to move forward with speed, with stealth, with strength, with confidence. And, and that's what it is that's coming in for you. There's the winds of change are moving in around you. Um, it's it, it could be something that you've willed to do, but tap into that energy of the higher self and also the energy of the tiger, that sure-footedness, that swift movement forward, knowing when to pounce. And I feel like, okay, get ready because you're really needing to pounce. You're really needing to move forward. Then you've also got the owl, and the owl speaks of wisdom. So there's this moving forward, but in wisdom. You're making these decisions quickly, but there is there is a wisdom about it, a knowing, uh, an inner knowing of you're ready for it. You're ready for this change. You're ready for whatever life has to offer you. You're ready for the opportunities that are coming your way. So there's that tiger energy and the owl, the wisdom of the owl energy. But the wisdom of the owl energy also speaks of uh, it, the owl moves between between the realms, from the spiritual world into into our world, and brings us messages from the divine. And that's also what this what this is. There's messages here coming from the divine, from a higher source. 
it's speaking to you so whatever's going on with you in November it's divinely guided it's divinely meant to be and so enjoy that and just be ready for it because I feel like there's no controlling it it's going to be so positive um, it's going to be such an amazing um, month for you get ready for it um, don't create resistance around you no resistance it's just swift forward movement that is going to bring in um, amazing things amazing change amazing change great swiftness newness abundance it's it's a, a, a leaving behind the old so you're ready for this so come November sort of the end of October November you're going to be oh I've had this I'm going to leave this behind what lies ahead even if you don't know what lies ahead move forward make changes leave old ways of being old ways of thinking old ways of speaking old ways of interacting leave all of that behind old memories leave that behind and move forward because there's a world of opportunity that's going to open up for you uh, and you're going to be absolutely driven to do that absolutely driven to do that the month starts my lovely leo with the sun this is your card you know this is the card of leo the sun energy the the there's no obstacles there's wealth of opportunities there's a wealth of um, good fortune anything you start in November is going to just take off and I feel like it's going to take off with a swiftness be observant of the synchronicities don't be distracted follow your intuition follow your dreams and follow the reality that you want to create because the sun is a tremendously positive card there's nothing standing in your way absolutely nothing standing in your way don't create resistance the old is finished so any difficulties that you've over that you've had that you have overcome any difficult thought processes or things that have been on your mind um, difficulty in communicating or difficulty in being heard um, any any situations like that that's done that's done take with it your your soul's growth take with it the wisdom that you've gained there's the, the owl energy it's asking you to take the wisdom of the past with you into the future don't take the pain and the angst and the difficulties and the restrictions don't take that with you just take what you have learned how that has changed you into being a better version of yourself an evolution of your soul any obstacles that come up for you in November are going to be dealt with you're going to overcome them look at that you're up high all the obstacles are down there you you know they're going to be easy they're not big things they're not big things um, in moving forward that that is you know the the thing the obstacles could be releasing the past releasing releasing past things not allowing that to restrict you so that you can move forward making the necessary changes to embrace I just feel like you are going to be absolutely unstoppable absolutely unstoppable and you are going to you're not able to slow the process or stop it it's going to happen you're going to feel the intensity of that energy around you there's a lot of soulmate connections here you're going to meet a lot of people in November that are significant they're going to have significant role in your life um, you're going to feel that connection immediately if you're seeking a soulmate or a strong connection with uh, someone uh, in, on a romantic level that is there for you in November there's an attraction a magnetism there that's going to be there um, that, so there is that opportunity it can be um, a wedding a, an engagement uh, as well as strengthening of an existing relationship but I also feel like this is the card of um, twin souls coming into your life that is people that are going to be significant in your life in this phase of the journey they could also be lifetime friendships that you are discovering or creating or meeting you're going to meet people and think oh, 
I am going to, you're going to be a big part of my life. You're just going to know there's going to be an instant connection. There is going to be an instant connection. Things are going to happen very, very quickly around you. Opportunities are going to be there. Opportunities are going to be there for you to grab with both hands. Be ready. Decisions need to be made quickly. You can't sit and dwell on it. You need to know up front. So what I'm saying to you is by the beginning of November, know what it is you want. Know what it is, what direction it is you want to move in because when these opportunities come up for you and these synchronicities cross your path, there isn't time to dwell. You need to know yes or no. Quick answers. Quick answers in the month of November for you is really important because there's a lot of opportunity and there's a lot of uh, growth because, you know, eight is the number of good fortune. Good fortune is coming your way. It's you know, good fortune is coming your way, which leads to a new start. You've got the fool energy here. This is the first card in the tarot deck. So there is this new, you're stepping into a new reality. You're stepping into a new stage in your life, a new phase, a new chapter. You're, the fool moves forward unencumbered. It leaves the past behind. They don't, doesn't, it, the fool doesn't take the past baggage with it with him or her it just moves forward it jumps into the void even if it doesn't know he or she doesn't know where she's jumping in he they're jumping into it's about not you know look there's a wand things are going to happen quickly embrace it take that leap of faith because there is a new emotional start here you're going to feel absolutely fantastic you're going to feel invigorated moving into december it's just things are going swimmingly. It's about going with the flow. It's your cup runneth over with goodness, with everything that you're wanting. It's a tremendously positive month, tremendously positive month. So don't hold back. I'm going to draw another card for you, my lovely Leo, because this is just so positive. What aspect of your life are you wanting to change, to bring that change? And you will know because you will have this feeling of being very unsettled, this feeling of movement, this feeling of, um, wow, things are going to change. A sense of excitement is going to uh, enter your energy field in November. There's a coming together. There's a coming together of like minds. So there's others that you're going to meet on your path, on your journey. That's this, this soulmate connection. There's going to be great connections coming to you. Great connections coming to you. Be observant of the synchronicities that are around you because they're going to be, they're not coincidences. They have deep meaning. So I wish you many, many blessings. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm going to do the divine abundance. I do wish to send you many blessings, but it's also about divine abundance. Let's have a look at what, oh, what have you got? Divine abundance. <laughs> I said it's all about divine abundance, and there it is. There it is. Let's have a look. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the tower and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance not chase it and you don't have to chase it because it's just going to be there it's going to be there there's no chasing it it's just going to appear for you because you're sitting in that energy i love it i wish you love light and uh, many blessings a joyous november absolutely explosive my lovely leo if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there that will be specific to you.